What is going on everyone? In today's video, I'm going to be teaching you guys how to sim yourself properly, the add-ons I use to make that process a little simpler, and hopefully that information that you gather from your sims and implement it into the game is going to be able to teach you a little bit more about um, how to optimize yourself, and in turn that's going to just improve your damage and your gameplay. So stick around. So now that we're here in game in the beautiful sunny landscape of Ogremar, um, I'm going to just quickly run through the process I use in order to um, sim myself accurately and how to implement that into the game. And then I'll go over a little bit of, of, about the add-ons um, and what are generally when I sim myself. Um, and hopefully that explanation will kind of lead you guys to, you know, it'll put you on the right path as to doing it yourself and you'll see how easy it is and how beneficial it can be um to you as a character to you as a player and you'll just get a sense of you know you'll have an understanding of maybe you'll be able to um apply the information into the game and say like you know what i have more control over my character and what i'm doing than i thought so that's that's the end goal and hopefully this video is going to help you guys do that so um if you guys don't know about raid bots yet raid bots is basically like an online simulation craft um program um what i used to use was obviously simulation craft and that was you'd have to download the um the application from simcraft.org or whatever it was you'd run the latest um version of it on your your actual operating system and you'd plug in all the information there but since raid bots came out it's basically made that entire interface more user-friendly there's no software to download if you want to consider the add-on a download i mean it's not really a big thing but nonetheless it's super super helpful and they have pretty much everything you need in order to figure out what you need to do to optimize your character like i said optimize your damage optimize your character and it just gives you a better sense of being in control of your character in general that's just that's what i think it is it, it's it helps me you have no idea how much this this website helped me it's it's crazy so let's run through the little list of things there is here as you can see there's stat weights top gear gear compare relic compare talent compare quick sim and advanced um you will most likely never really use advanced or quick sim i generally don't um when i want to sim myself uh I do it through my Discord app because we have the the Patreon level, whatever. But it, it can tell me there. But if you want to just get a quick like a quick um, indication of what your DPS is at, you can run Quick Sim. But generally, what I use this website for is Stat Weights and Top Gear. So what Stat Weights does is the whole point of being able to sim your, your sim your character properly. So in order to explain this, we have to jump into the add-on portion. So in your add-on portion, you can go onto your Twitch or Curse app and you can go and download Simulation Craft. Now what this add-on is going to do, it does nothing except for this one thing. You can type slash SimC like this and it'll open up this tab, okay? And the things you need to know about this tab are relatively important, right? So it's going to pull up a list of things already copied into your clipboard. Well, not already copied, already highlighted into your clipboard. You can just control C, copy the whole thing. What this is basically spitting out at you is your race, your class, your, you can see your professions, your, um, it gives you like your region so it can grab the API from the uh, Blizzard Armory. It tells you the crucible and artifact traits, and it tells you all of the gear and talents you are currently running. So when you sim yourself, you need to make sure that you're wearing the gear and you're using the talents that you want to be simming yourself in because it's not going to be accurate if you don't do that. And it's a lot more arduous to go through the actual interface on the website and pick your talents there. It's a lot easier if you just take the talents you want. If you're in a rested area, you can swap them, do it several times. So generally you want to have the talents you're running when you do your sim. So double check that, double check the gear you're actually using. So in this case, I'm using my, my single target spec, my crypt build. So I'll type slash sim C, it'll spit out all this data. I'm gonna copy this whole thing, okay? And I'm gonna go and paste it into this box here. You can ignore the load from armory. Um, if you wanna load from armory for some reason you don't have the add-on, you can do that. I would, I much prefer doing it like this. I know it's grabbing the information exactly as how I want it to be paste it into here um, this simulation options you'll never generally want to touch that I usually leave it on 10,000 iterations single target patchwork fight number of bosses one fight length five minutes is generally the standard as to a boss length leave it on five minutes 
additional pantheon trinkets in raid you generally don't want to like i haven't been playing with this because it assumes that everyone in this category is running ammon tools which is a wild card whole other discussion i generally leave it at five uh, i feel like that's probably the lowest amount of uh, ammon tool trinkets um, per se that will proc a wild card and in my head i'm like well if we have five out of 20 ammon tools the proc rate is going to be the lowest it possibly can be so i leave it at five you can play with that as to whatever you want maybe i'm wrong but i generally don't like to take into account um the norganon's empowerment trinket just because it fluctuates with you know strength agility users and you have tanks it's just whatever just leave that you can you can put it at zero if you want it doesn't matter if you're not wearing uh, a Norganon's trinket, you can just put that at zero and call it a day. So you're going to press generate stat weights here. Um, so on high traffic times, you'll usually have a, um, a like a queue. You'll have like you'll have to wait a few seconds or minutes or whatever it is just to get this spit out because a lot of people are asking for their sims. But if you're a Patreon level, which I highly recommend you do, raid bots is amazing. Um, you'll be able to skip the queue and you can go straight to the front of the line. It also gives you um, an increase in iterations, which we'll talk about a little later, but generally, you know, this it's super fast. So we come to this screen here. So what this is telling me is it gave me a quick sim. I'm doing apparently 2.16 million damage to a single target boss. Um, it gives you the gear and talents you're using, and here is the juicy part. It gives you your stat weights. So right now it's telling me, like right now I'm reading this, I'm saying, okay, I'm, I'm slightly overcapped on crit, or I've reached my crit breakpoint. I need to start looking for haste and crit gear. So if, if you can understand this to this point, we're on a good track. But where it gets really fun is this pawn string. So pawn happens to also be an add-on. Pawn which you can download on the Twitch Curse app. And what this does is if you go back into game, notifications, if you go back into game and type slash pawn, P-A-W-N, it'll pop up this interface. So what's really cool about this is you can, impl or you can um, import your different specs. So right now I have an arcane fire and frost spec, as you guys can see, and we're running my fire spec. So if you go over here to the scale window and you type import, you can paste, oh, I didn't even copy the pawn string, whoops. So you copy the clipboard, don't do not do like I just did. Import the pawn string. And it gives you your stat weights in a cool little window. Now you're, you're probably saying, okay, if you haven't seen this before, you're probably saying like it's a lot easier to look at on the website or whatever. It is. But what this does is that when, it, when you open up your, your bags and, or you go have pieces of gear in your bank, you'll see that it pops up arrows, right? And you might be like, oh, that's that's cool. But if you go over something, let's try to find one here. I have all my three sec my specs set up. And what's really cool is it puts a tooltip on the item and tells you how much of a percentage of an upgrade that is, which I found super useful to, you know, to if you're looking at your bags, I'm ignoring every other piece and I'm just looking at these because I know my stat weights are accurate. Right, so I'm looking at these and like, oh, you know, this, uh, this this leg piece here, I could probably swap that crit haste piece for my crit verse piece, right? And then I can wear another tier piece. It kind of gets your brain going and seeing like, oh, maybe there's different types of gear sets or ways I can gear myself out to optimize my stats. So those two add-ons together and running your sims, I find it super, super useful to determine where you're at in terms of damage and if you want to improve yourself these are the tools that you need to do so so that's that's the base of it and there's a lot more on raid bots that we can go into and i'll, I'll probably explain the top gear portion really quickly because it's really really cool but th it's amazing and these two add-ons are super lightweight they don't pause like they don't do have any other function other than what i showed you so if you want to run through your specs uh, this applies to all classes, but if you want to run through your specs, you can import them and it'll automatically import the uh, name of your character, the spec, and where it's from, so raid bots, right? So I have three imported stat weights from my three specs. I keep them updated because I do tend, I do like to keep up with my, my, uh, my gear sets, so generally I like to keep it up to date, but if you're only playing one spec, you can do one spec, it's not a problem. So let's get into the top gear portion really quickly. Top gear is really, really cool because let's say you get three upgrades one night and you are replacing a tier set where a tier piece with one, but you want to figure out where to mix and match. Top gear is the place that you'd want to go. So again, we're going to go into SimC. 
get that information and come back in here and paste it. So what this is going to do is going to spit out all of the gear you have in your bags. As you can see in SimC, we have a huge list of gear that I have in my bags. And it's also going to take that into account. So if I open up my bags here, it's going to take all this gear, all my legendaries, all my trinkets, all my rings, and it's going to put it into a nice little list organized by slot item. So let's say, for example, I want to test if I want to switch my shoulders for my tier set and I want to switch my tier set for those legs that I saw as was an upgrade, right? Where is it here? Is it this like wraps? No, it's this one. Anyways, you can you can you can fool around with it, but for just for the sake of argument, we're going to try to and see which is a DPS increase over this swap or the one I'm wearing now, right? When you come down here, you'll see iterations. This is what I was talking about before. You can select as many things as you want, but when it turns to red, you've reached your iteration cap, which means it can't sim that many things. It's going to attempt to sim 144 gear sets and it's just not possible. The way to increase that is to become a Patreon. So you can become a Patreon, it'll increase the iteration limit, and you can go ahead and, you know, add more gear to the iterations. But for the sake of what we're doing now, I'm going to leave everything on normal. What am I doing? Uh, I'm pretty sure I'm wearing this one. I don't know what I'm wearing anymore. Anyways, we're going to click three rings, call it a day. Down here, you can select your gems and enchants. You can keep the ones you're wearing, or you can replace them with these ones. You can select which gems, which enchants you're wearing. Um, you can sim only sets including tier 21, tier 20, tier 19. You can press four piece, two piece, whatever. You can play with it how you want. You always want to have two legendaries uh, checked. And again, the same exact screen we saw before. Additional Pantheon trinket side, leave it at five. Find top gear. So this will put you in the queue. Um, like I said, peak hours, it'll be a little bit bigger on slower nights or on times where people aren't necessarily playing. You'll have this at a really cute cap. So it'll run it through the queue and it's going to spit out. Basically, you've probably seen this on forums. It's going to spit out two different, um, two different gear sets and it's, it's going to tell you what the DPS is increased for each of them. So as you're going to see here, it's probably going to tell me one's way higher than the other because I'm assuming it's not a DPS increase. Oh. There you go, guys. I get to wear a new rig. So it's telling me here that the the, uh, the gear set I have equipped now is at 2.16 mil, and this one's a 0.00% increase. So the, it, the, the DPS increase is about 200 DPS. It's not huge. It's not like, it's not massive, but you can see the different gear sets I applied and the percentage of DPS difference that there actually is. So if I was to put, like I said before, my pants and shoulders on, I'm losing 0.1% DPS. So it's not viable for me to do that, right? But this table is basically going to tell you if that gear saw, if that gear swap is worth it, and that's super super useful. And I use this all the time. I get upgrades, you know, once or twice a week, whatever, and I'll sim myself. I'll get my new stat weights, and I'll see if they're an upgrade or not. So yeah, that's what's uh, that's what's really interesting about this website. It's amazing. And like I said, becoming a Patreon just makes it even better. You can sim more gear, you skip the queue. It's awesome. So let's get into the when I sim myself question. Um, like I said before, I generally sim myself every time I get an upgrade. And if pawn pops up with that arrow that says it's a 10% increase, I'm going to I'm gonna check it in raid bots before I actually equip it just to make sure that I'm not taking away a certain stat and replacing it with something else. I want to know that, especially playing crit build, I want to know that I'm not losing an, uh, too much crit, but I'm not losing too much haste or mastery. I want to make sure that that balance is always there. And if it's a, it's a, if it's a DPS gain, I'll make the switch. But at least I know that in my head, my stat weights are good. My DPS is increased. And I know that that upgrade is, is well replaced with my other one and that my stats aren't going to be, you know, all, all, all over the place. So that's when I send myself and um yeah i do that every time i get an upgrade it's become like second nature for me i send myself a couple of times a week maybe more and uh it, like i said you get the sense that you have more control of your character you're aware of how much you're doing what you actually need to get and again it's it comes down to the basic of when you go to kill a boss you'll know off the top of your head what pieces you need as an increase you'll know exactly why you'll know what your stats are at now what they will be it's just, it's a great tool. And I think that in general, it just makes you a better player. So it's a long video. I'm sorry, but I hope that, uh, hope that helps you guys. And, uh, yeah, if you liked it, throw out a, a subscribe or a like and share it with your friends and let them know that, uh, 
simming yourself isn't as hard as everyone makes it seem. So all those trolls on Discord to go sim yourself can, you know, can fuck off. All right, guys. I'll see you next video. Peace out. Bring it back now. Shake it. Drum.